Welcome back. This is Raul Bergera from Color Based Solar Solutions. And on this episode of TGIS, we're going to talk about inverters. Uh, on the market, there's two basically uh, different types of inverters that you can look into. Uh, we have systems with centralized inverters, and we have systems with micro inverters. And each one of these systems has its benefits, and its drawbacks, and its function. And it's important for you to understand what's best suited for your particular situation so that your solar installer can sell you the right product. So with that said, let's jump right into it and let's look at two different things that we have here today. Uh, we are showing a Solar Edge US New Wave 7600 Solar Edge storage inverter. This inverter is 100% compatible with the LG batteries, so you can actually store some of the energy and use it when you need it during a power outage. And we're also featuring today from Enphase, their IQ7 line of inverters uh, and their Envoys. And we're gonna show you how each one of these type of inverters could suit your needs. And based on your particular needs, you can decide which is better for you. Let's start out with solar edge centralized inverters. This uh, centralized inverters as a category, it's that they are installed in your roof we put all the solar panels, and then they get run the electricity through PV cable to the centralized inverter. Sometimes they install a power optimizer. Some other centralized inverters do not need the power optimizer. The benefits of a centralized inverter is the less lower cost. A centralized inverter will lower the cost of your installation. You do have to look into how are your solar panels set on your roof. Are they all facing the same direction? Do they look different ways? Can you maximize the production with one centralized unit? Or are your panels looking in different directions and therefore one centralized unit may not be able to maximize your panels? Second thing you want to look into is into the warranty of the inverters. A centralized system comes with a warranty between 7 and 12 years with the option that you can buy a longer warranty. You also want to look into the centralized system, the size of the centralized inverter itself, because this is ultimately what's going to change the DC voltage from your solar panels to the AC voltage that your house is running. So you want to make sure you properly size the inverter to the size of your solar system. This, for example, is a 7600 watt centralized inverter. We could size this all the way to 11.4 because we know that the array is never really going to produce 11.4, so up to 7.6 will be properly sized centralized inverter. And the centralized inverter, when you match it with the optimizers below each of the panels, can definitely maximize your production, even when your panels are looking in different direction. Again, the benefit is cost. One of the drawbacks that you might have, and one of the things to consider with the solar panels and the inverter, is the running of the current. When you install a centralized inverter, you're running DC current or high voltage current through your attic and down to the centralized inverter on the side of your house. The other drawback that you may have is that now you have one point of failure. If something wants to go wrong with your centralized inverter, your entire system is going to be down until that inverter gets changed. Another way to look at it, if you want to not look at it as a negative, but you want to look at it as a positive, is that you have less items that can go wrong. But when an item does go wrong, when there's a fault on the inverter, it does affect your entire system. And that's how centralized inverters work. All of the arrays on your rooftop bring the power down to one centralized area. That centralized area switches it to AC current, and that AC current comes into your house. So you only have one point of failure, and you only have one point of conversion. So therefore, you can maximize the conversion of DC to AC current. 
The other choice that you have when installing a solar system is what the industry now has is micro inverters. Rather than one centralized inverter for your entire array, underneath each of the panels, we're going to install a micro inverter. This replaces not only the centralized inverter, but it also replaces the power optimizer. With the micro inverter, you do not need optimizers. Therefore, your entire system actually has less parts. That's one of the benefits of micro inverters is that you actually have less parts to go wrong than with a centralized inverter system. As you can see, this micro inverter gets connected to the trunk cable that goes underneath your panels. And as you can see, what you're running now is regular AC current. So once you make this connection, what actually comes down to the combiner box, which gets connected through just regular 20 amp breakers, each array comes down to the 20 amp breaker in your combiner box and into your home. So you can see it's a very simple system. It's a very safe system. No high voltage, strictly AC current, just like the outlets that you have in your home today where you connect your lamps or your fans or anything to that nature. So one of the benefits of a micro inverter, one of the main benefits is that you're probably going to enjoy the same warranty on the micro inverter as you do on your panels. Micro inverters come with a 25 year warranty both labor and parts. That means that for 25 years, nothing can go wrong with your system versus the warranty and a centralized inverter, which is usually much less. Another benefit that you'll enjoy with a micro inverter is that if anything wants to go wrong with your system, let's say you have a 20 panel solar system, one micro inverter goes bad, only the panels affected. The other 19 panels on your solar system are gonna keep working just fine you're able to monitor the performance of each individual panel. So each individual array, you have the ability to focus on it, to see if it's functioning to its 100% capacity, and to know when something's happening on the individualized panel system. You enjoy the same benefit through a centralized inverter by having the optimizers, but you don't enjoy the benefit of one point going bad and the rest of the points staying good and that's something that you only get with the microinverters. Another great benefit of the microinverters is that they're able to maximize the production of that particular panel. So if you have a panel facing the west and you have a panel facing the east, obviously during different times of the day, each of those panels is gonna get different amounts of power. Each of those panels is going to be able to produce different amounts of electricity because they're getting different exposure to the sun during that particular time of the day. With a microinverter, you're able to maximize the production of each of those individual panels. The other benefit that you're going to have with the microinverters is the ability to spread your array out. Doesn't matter whether it's facing south, whether it's facing east, or it's facing west. Each individual panel is its own system versus having to have all of the panels working at the most common denominator, which is usually the slowest panel. Each individual panel can maximize the production with the microinverter. And again, the safety and convenience of knowing that you're really running AC power through your home, so you don't have to worry at all about high voltage going through your home. When the power goes out, there's an emergency in your home, and the fire department, the police department, any emergency system has to come to your house to turn off your power. They don't have to worry about finding the disconnect for the solar panels. They don't have to worry about finding that point of connection to disconnect it. As soon as the power is cut to your house, the microinverters have the rapid shutdown and they immediately turn off, allowing the fire department and or the police department to safely work in your house without the worry of high voltage DC power. Thank you very much for joining us today. I hope the information our budget was useful. Don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. And until the next episode of Thank Goodness is Solar, let the sun power your lifestyle.